What's going on today guys? Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. I thought we'd have a quick discussion today regarding gear and this obsession with trying to acquire new gear, better gear, trade in your old stuff, get something that's you know more expensive, whatever. I think the entire guitar industry right now and probably a lot of other industries as well are really just pushing for people to spend their money on something that they don't really need. <laughs> Us content creators, you know, we're guilty as well of trying to push this stuff. Uh, we do this for a living and we do it for our enjoyment as well and entertainment. But I mean, at the end of the day, we have to realize that sometimes what you're really seeking isn't somewhere else, it's inside you. In other words, if you feel like your sound or your tone or your musicality isn't good enough, it, another piece of gear isn't going to help you. Another new guitar isn't going to help you with that. What's really going to help you most is really just practice time tested and approved. If you want to have better technique, more musicality, uh, better creative expression in any sense, you really just have to practice more. I mean, that's what it comes down to. For instance, you know, for myself, I started this YouTube channel a couple of years ago, about three years ago now. And uh, at that time, I had no idea what I was doing whatsoever. I had no idea. I just jumped into it, you know, all the way. And I was just uh, hoping for the best, I guess. And along the way, though, I taught myself a lot of things. To be honest, watching a lot of YouTube tutorials has helped me to acquire and hone my skills as far as, you know, songwriting, mixing, producing music, videography, all that stuff. What it takes is dedication and motivation. Self-motivation is really what you need to focus on more so than something exterior, something external from yourself, like new pieces of gear. It's always fun to acquire new things and to pick something else up, you know, retail therapy is fun once in a while. But at the end of the day, we have to remember that if you want to sound better, if you want to get better at your craft, you just have to practice. Uh, as far as me with the YouTube thing, the whole YouTube channel, I had to teach myself how to do all this stuff. And, you know, I ended up watching thousands of hours, literally, of tutorials to get better at my skill when it came to picking out a camera and lighting and lenses. Uh, you know, framing, subject matter, thumbnails, all that stuff, you know, it, that's all separate from the music industry. But in this day and age, it kind of go hand in hand. So uh, for me to do what I wanted and to, and to pursue my own musical career in whatever sense that is, I had to learn how to do, you know, social media. I like to talk about new guitars. I like to talk about new pedals and amps and all that stuff. And it's a lot of fun. And once in a while, it is cool to try out something new. But if you're really seeking to sound better, you just have to practice more. That's really what it comes down to. You have to um, just get, get better at your skills, get better at your craft. I'm sitting here in a room full of gear, right, that I've acquired over the past few years. And uh, it's a testament to the fact that I don't sound much better than I did three years ago when I started this YouTube channel. I have a lot more stuff here. I've got a lot more material things around me, but they don't make me sound better. Okay, so check this out. This is my very first guitar that I ever purchased, ever acquired, and I still have it to this day. Thank goodness I didn't get rid of my first piece of gear, and I still love this thing. And I have to be honest with you, if I had to choose only one guitar that I could take with me, or if, God forbid if I lost all the rest or they were stolen or what have you, this one is the only one I would need. It's the first guitar I ever had. It's what I learned on. And, uh, you know, as far as gear goes, it's not the best, not nearly. This is a Mexican Strat. Uh, plays really nicely, but I paid about, you know, 200 bucks for it back in the day, brand new. I couldn't be without this one. I could never get rid of this. If I was destitute, if I was homeless, God forbid, I would still not get rid of this thing. I'd have to just keep it for dragging around. Um, yeah, this guitar just means everything to me. And, you know, all the new stuff, the shiny stuff with the bells and whistles, and it's real expensive, the big price tags, all that stuff is really cool. It's a lot of fun to play and mess around with and demo for you guys out there. But at the end of the day, I just need this one guitar and I'm happy. I'm good to go. One guitar, one cheap amplifier. I still have my, you know, Spider Line 6 amp, which is, you know, below average, let's say, by today's standards. But I still get a decent tone out of it. And if I, all I could have was that amp and this guitar, I'd be all set. I'd be happy with that. So that's another testament to the fact that, you know, sometimes the best stuff is what you already have. It really just comes down to my own self-motivation, forcing myself to practice when I can, you know, whether it's songwriting, technique, anything, and um, just try to get better at it, you know, each and every day. If you get better 1% every single day, I think you really will see a difference after, you know, a couple of weeks or a couple of months, whatever your level is. You know, everyone plateaus at different levels. Everyone kind of gets stuck in the same thing, the same, uh, playing the same scales or the same finger exercises that you've been doing for years and years. 
try something new. Instead of buying a piece of gear today, you know, turn off all the screens for a little while, practice, play something different than you normally do, or write some kind of music, something different than what you normally would do. I think that is a great launching off point to kind of expand your horizons musically um, and try to find you know, your own voice and try to get better at your techniques or whatever it is you're trying to do. This gear isn't gonna make any difference in your life. Honestly, it's fun when you first bring it home, but then after a day, you're like, wow, I just brought home another $1,000 guitar. Whoopee, I don't sound any better, I don't play any better. So, I mean, I have all, those, all these guitars here and plenty more and I've got you know other gear laying around. It doesn't make a difference. I mean, you gotta make yourself happy. You have to be content with your level or whatever it is you're doing with your level of music skill and uh, it's really just up to you. So I just want to drop in today and kind of remind everybody and remind myself too that it's not necessary to keep buying stuff. I know the industry has us kind of brainwashed to think that you need the newest thing but you don't. You really don't. So stop buying gear. Take a couple of days off from social media. Turn off the screens for a little while. Take a deep breath and just practice and play something new. I think you'll enjoy it. This was a quick one. I'm out of here, but I'll be back real soon with some more demos. I've got some Schecter stuff on the horizon, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I really appreciate it if you would do so. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya!